Looking for a unique romantic experience? How about a cruise through the fjords of the Norwegian coast with its breathtaking snow-capped peaks in search of the northern lights? I traveled aboard the MS Trollfjord, one of the two newest ships in the Hurtigruten fleet. It's easy to customize your trip because they have the same itinerary starting each day of the week on their various ships. The food on the MS Trollfjord was amazing. With fish being so fresh and abundant in Norway, we always had lox, herring, cod, and caviar at every meal, as well as traditional Norwegian meals of reindeer, meatballs, potatoes, and pea soup. Outside on the deck, there were two jacuzzis, which were also a magical way to watch the northern lights and take in the surrounding beauty. There's nothing like sitting in a hot jacuzzi while snow is falling around you. Throughout the seven-day voyage aboard Hurtigruten, you'll stop in several ports throughout the day and night. Our main stops were Bergen, a bustling capital of Norway's fjord region, Alessund, a beautiful Art Nouveau town, and Trondheim with its charming streets and Gothic Cathedral of Nidaros, where the kings of ancient Norway once received their official blessings. We're standing underneath the old town bridge here in Trondheim and word is that if you kiss someone, even if it's a perfect stranger, you have a lifetime of happiness. So I have a Norwegian, so I think I get double that. <laughs> oh. Woo! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> On day four, we crossed the Arctic Circle, and then we stopped in Bodo, where we enjoyed a Lofoder Viking feast. In Tromsø, known as Norway's Paris of the North, we had a beer at All Holland Bar, the northernmost brewery in the world, visited the Arctic Cathedral, the northernmost Catholic church with its beautiful stained glass windows, and walked through Polaria, home of the bearded seals, and watched them being fed and trained. Day six, we arrived in Honigsvag, where we were greeted by a huge snowstorm. So unfortunately, the road was closed up to the North Cape, but we explored the northernmost town and had the opportunity to hold some huge king crabs and learn about their mating rituals. My favorite part of the trip began in Shula Fjord, where we took a snowmobile trip in Lapland from the trading fishing village over the mountains to Mayham. This was a beautiful ride along the Finland coast. On day seven, we stayed overnight in Kirkenes at the Solia Lodge, the perfect spot on the Russian border to see the northern lights. We took a snowmobile safari and dog sledding trip under a crystal clear starry sky. I'm here with Kurt and we're near the Russian border of Norway. So tell me exactly where we are. We are in the Pasvik River and it's 100 meter to this direction to the border between Norway and Russia. And you see the road on the Russian side, on the other side, and a watchtower. These activities were so much fun, and I would highly recommend doing both. We couldn't have had a better ending to our day. Right after the dog sledding adventure, the beautiful green hues started appearing in the sky. After the cruise up the coast, you have the option to continue aboard for the southbound journey and experience additional activities and ports, or you may want to fly to Oslo, as we did for the last two days of the trip. It's a great way to get a taste of the urban as well as the Arctic life of Norway. The city of Oslo is a beautiful one, consisting of great museums, monuments, a magnificent opera house, the world's most modern ski jump, which will be used in the 2011 World Championships, cross-country skiing, and a great mix of restaurants and nightlife. The Oslo Ice Bar is a must-stop for a cloudberry mixed drink in a frozen ice glass. Norway is a spectacular country with great people and beautiful landscape, and there is no better way of seeing the fjords than with Hurtigruten. Be sure to ask for a midship cabin for minimal vibration and one with an unobstructed view, as there's no better feeling than waking up to the sun glistening off of the coastal snow-clad mountains.